Bam! Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Dustin. Today these are my um, Bavs. What? Duck. And why am I Oh. <coughs> Why is Jacka so shit? It's because he hasn't subscribed to Bars 14 yet. <laughs> He's so stupid. Okay then. So, Arsenal. <coughs> what now? Are you gonna film wearing that? Oh shit, yeah, you're right. One second. So, what the fuck? One more second. Oh, for fuck's sake! So, what are we seeing today? Are we all good? Yeah, not being so bad. I don't give a shit. What I do give a shit about is this thing here. So let's talk. Good thing you mentioned, because I wanted to talk about this thing here. What the fuck is that? I thought you say that. And what is that supposed to? Oh, fuck. Hey! Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Babs and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did a video like this, and let's just say not much has happened. Babs is still a virgin. Today, these are my top 5 Arsenal players to watch out for this season, as Unai Emery attempts to return the glory days of finishing 4th on the final day of the season. <laughs> love you are said fucking love you. and before the video starts i want to go over here like the video subscribe to my channel if you're new and shout out to you shout out to you and shout out to you and if you like a shout out in the next video all you gotta do is press simple go over there and hashtag team 14 in the comments if you breathe oxygen hashtag team 14 in the comments you're welcome and while you're in the comments let me know your players to watch transfers that i see happen and are you gassed because obviously man is gassed Oh, for fuck's sake. Firstly, Bert Leno. now i'm not gonna lie big man's pair does look a bit whammed up if you know what i mean Never mind, but let's not forget. <laughs> You're shit. So, I still think that Leno will be our star goalkeeper. And let's be honest, he ain't coming off the best season. Hence why there's a lot of people doubting. Fuck the hater. But then again, he isn't filling in the boots of a world class goalkeeper. He's filling in pet check. Easy job. Even I can do better than him. Maybe not. In terms of check though, his numbers were poor last year. He massively underperformed and made mistake after mistake after mistake. A mistake, a mistake, a mistake, a mistake, a mistake. He was shit. So even if Leno was to have a decent season, it would still represent success. And then again, he's 26 year old, which is pretty young for a goalkeeper. If he cuts out the mistakes, he has potential. And he's German. And they tend to produce the goalkeepers of the highest level. Wait, never mind. <laughs> but for you, Bert, there will be a lot of doubters. And all you can say to them is subscribe to Bass 14. Can't. Is my middle name. Now subscribe to Bass 14. Secondly, Mesut Ozil. Let's just say it's been an event for summer for Mesut. I'm not gonna go through this again. If you want my views on it, go check the video I made on it. Fuck racism. In terms of Ozil, no international football means more time for Arsenal, less distractions, and just more time to be happy. And maybe subscribe to Basel. Not in a million years. I love my life. For Mesut, this will be a massive season. Why? New management at Emery, new system that he'll play, finally a new number, and hopefully a new Mesut. Are you sure you don't wanna? Ah. Never mind. Thirdly, Lucas Torreira. And number three, I have Mr. Six Foot Five and Hardest. But Lucas Torreira, give it a week back. <clears throat> totally reliable sources. In other news, Lucas Torreira is here. Hashtag time for Torreira. Sack whoever made that hashtag. Lucas Torreira in many eyes is the answer to also defensive crisis. Defensive crisis being a massive fucking understatement. As you can see. In terms of Torreira, he's coming off the back of two very good seasons at Sampdoria. A very impressive World Cup. Ronaldo hasn't slept since. And a very good reputation. In many ways, he is exactly what we need. Mobile, robust, tactically clever, and just a massive cop block. Shout out to Franz Cockland. So, is he the answer to our defensive issues? We shall see. Oh, what am I saying? We're still fucked. Fourthly, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. I want to get straight to the point for this one. He's fast, he's strong, he's clinical. He will have Ozil, Mkhitaryan, and Ramsey behind him. He's always happy. And the moment he said this... <laughs> The golden boot was secured. <clears throat> Actually. Fifth and finally, Matteo Guendouzi. What can I say? Then Muslim Sack, you've done it again. Let's be honest, when Matteo Guendouzi first arrived, I wanted two things. Firstly, has he subscribed to Bas 14 yet? And secondly, who the fuck? But now I haven't seen him play in pre season against big teams like FS Country and PSG. What about Chelsea? I said big teams. Throw us in the comments, fuck it, go for it. Matteo Guendouzi looks like a real deal. Composed, relaxed, level headed. Uh, because his hair's pretty symmetrical. No? Okay. And always has his head up. He never seems to panic. And he passes forwards. <laughs> but let's not forget, he's only 19. So, all Arsenal fans, put away your moisturizer. Take a deep breath. Relax and go find the nearest bottle of sunscreen. Because it's getting very hot outside. 
Oh, you dirty motherfucker. <clears throat> You don't want to see the rest. Too big continued. Not. So with that we said guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this special life on it, subscribe to my channel if you are new. And comment down below players that we should watch out for, transfers that you like to see, and do you like the style? Or do you prefer my boring style of Talk guys, my name is Bath Dean and I'm a massive cunt. Cheers. And also write in the comments, comment on the hashtag team 14 if you would like a shout out. So with that we said guys, my name is Bath Dean and Yeah, so about that deodorant thing. Are you sure it will work? Yeah, it should do. Bavs, calm down. Girls, my DMs are open. Oh, brilliant. You know the resume, huh? call it what you want, or as it may. Huh? Not from the bay, but hella pay. Huh? Every day above ground is a good day, so I celebrate. Huh? Mommy got that bubble young booty. I want to run through it like Rudy. She said, do you own Nike? I said, not yet. She said, then just do it. Fresh at the Grammys in the tuxedo.